What is up, people? Just wanted to give you a quick little word for today. I was uh, thinking about it this morning, and the word for the day is send them out. Send them out. What do I mean by that? Songs. Songs can be, if we are not careful, they become our babies. We tend to hold on to them so tightly that we forget how little control we have over the, the end result, the outcome. And for a lot of us, we spend so much energy worrying and stressing over, man, is, is our song going to get cut? Is it, uh, is it turning out great in the production phase? Or like, uh, you know, we just stress over, we put so much weight on individual songs and we forget that it really is a bigger picture. What we need to be focused on as songwriters is writing a whole lot of them. Wake up every day and write a song, finish it. Next day, write a song, finish it. Next day, write a song, finish it. The point is not to be fast or rush through songs, but the point is don't belabor the process so much because like my uh, songwriting mentor, Tom Douglas, I love his songwriting work and I look up to him and got to interview him on our, I think it was like the second episode of our podcast. You can go back in the archives on madeitinmusic.com and listen to that episode. Totally worth listening to. But he talks about how it's so important to just jettison, I like that word, just jettison the songs out there and let happen whatever's going to happen. Uh, we have so little control, especially in the beginning stages as we're new songwriters and up and coming. We just have very, very small sway in what's ultimately going to happen. Who's going to record the song? Are they going to record it? Is it going to become a single? Ultimately, career-wise, that's the goal. We want to be writing songs that could be singles because commercially that's how songwriters make their living nowadays. But I just wanted – I felt like I should – should should say that for for a lot of you guys who may be stressing out over well, it's this song it's the we get so many so, so many messages from songwriters who just cannot get over the fact that this one song that, that, that they're, they're so precious about is not getting cut or it's not getting on hold the first thing i always want to say is just go write another one like if it's not if it's not something's not happening with it it it, it might not be the right song from the the first place and, and that's really hard for us to accept as songwriters is um, not taking it personally they, they're, they're really not our babies they're our songs for songwriters so that's my encouragement to you guys today some of you need to just let go a little bit and, and just de-stress take a deep breath if the song doesn't work it doesn't work go write another one um, that's how all of my pro songwriter friends think about the process and I would encourage you guys to do the same I'm super pumped we've got uh, a very, very exciting next few weeks coming up. Uh, October 9th, we're releasing the Song Chasers songwriting course. This is a commercial songwriting course about the A to Z process of what makes a commercial hit song. So um, stand by for that. It's going to be at songchaserscourse.com. And I don't want you to miss that. It's a project that I've put about a year's worth of work into. And Man, teaching something like songwriting, I mean, it's th these type of conversations where it's, it's more big picture philosophical career-wise, I, I can almost have in my sleep because I, 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 I get it. I eat, sleep, and breathe this thing. But when it comes to the technicality of actually what makes a hit a hit, that is a whole nother skill set. And I'm proud to say that uh, I feel way more adequate <laughs> as a songwriter and, and more so as a songwriting teacher than I did a couple years ago. And um, that was only by a year's worth of hard work on this course. I thought I was going to sit down and bang it out like in a weekend or something. Like, oh, this stuff is just second nature to me. But, but really, it's not. It's, it's knowing why do certain things work? Uh, why do I gravitate towards certain ways of songwriting, certain techniques, certain strategies? And why does it seem like there's, there's, there's kind of a formula for what songs work and what don't work? Now... The Song Chasers course, it, the interesting thing is, is it's not genre specific. A lot of people have been asking us that. Well, I, I don't really want to do country music, or I don't want to do sync music, or I don't want to do rock music, or I don't want to do Christian music. It doesn't really matter. These principles apply across all genres, and 
it's just really, really good stuff. I'm really proud of my team. The production level is just absolutely off the charts, and the content is uh, is just top shelf. So uh, make sure you check that out. That's songchaserscourse.com, October 9th. If you're seeing this before October 9th, there's a massive discount available to you guys. So uh, check it out, and I would love to hear your feedback as is anything that we do, I always only want to add massive value. I never want to take away from you. Um, I really do believe that this is the best, most comprehensive course that is out there on the subject of commercial songwriting. So as always, anything we do, it's always a risk-free investment. Uh, if, you're, if you're not completely satisfied with um, seeing the results that you want to see from a course like this, then money back guaranteed i don't want to just be taking people's money i want to be genuinely adding value anyway song chasers course i'm, I'm going on kind of long about it because uh if you can't tell i'm passionate about it i'm passionate about helping people avoid a lot of the mistakes i've made and i'm you know still trying to overcome on a daily basis but um, i'm happy to say that i feel like after doing this course and creating this course i'm writing the best songs that i've ever written because i actually have some some frameworks and some guidelines and, and, and a methodology as opposed to just walking into a room and feeling like I'm shooting in the dark. So um, I hope it can do the same thing for you guys. But again, just a quick reminder, send the songs out. Don't get too stressed over it. And uh, like Tom Douglas says, just jettison them out into the world and don't treat them like your baby. So have a good day. Hey, what's up? Hope you loved the video. If you did, hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to our page for more awesome music industry content. If you are interested in getting a publishing deal, a record deal, or having a career in the music business, I've got a free video class for you right here. Click that link down there to get access to it. And if you want to check out another one of my vlogs, click up here.